Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain the band gap reduction of titanium dioxide by nitrogen doping for photocatalysis. Titanium dioxide is a semiconductor photocatalyst for, which is widely used for water splitting to produce hydrogen gas which is a renewable energy or fuel. Unfortunately, titanium cannot absorb the visible light of the solar spectra which is about 47%. That is because titanium dioxide has wide band gap. Means this is the balance band of titanium dioxide and this is the conduction band of titanium dioxide. The gap between the valence band and the conduction band is called band gap, which is about 3.2 electron volt for titania. The incoming energy of the light must be higher than the band gap. However, the energy of visible light is lower than the band gap, so it cannot absorb the sunlight. One of the ways to enhance the visible light absorption of titania is to reduce the band gap. The idea is if a foreign element such as nitrogen atom is introduced into the lattice of titanium dioxide this nitrogen substitute oxygen and it forms a new energy band just above the valence band of titania when a, it forms a new energy band the gap between the valence band and the conduction band is reduced which is lower than the visible light energy so titanium dioxide can absorb the visible light and it can work as a photocatalyst such as to produce hydrogen gas from water splitting or environmental remediation. Thank you.